Hello and welcome to the very first podcast episode of Mama Tales. I am Sally Kuria, I'm a mom to one amazing girl, Keo, who's 11 months old now, and wife to one super awesome husband and father. I am so excited to finally start this podcast. I started doing Mama Tales on my Insta around a month ago, and I created it as a space to share my journey into motherhood and hopefully share something that other moms can relate to, which is something I really valued or still value a lot in my journey. The other thing is that I love, love podcasts. I think audio storytelling is amazing and I believe like this format will also open up the space for more moms to come on and share their stories. I plan to be as open and as vulnerable as I possibly can be, which I think is a whole lot easier using this format as opposed to what I've just been doing on Insta. To kick things off, I want to talk about a certain conversation that I stumbled upon on Twitter some days ago. So what this conversation did was affirm my need for there to be more relatable information and content out there, especially for moms who are just going through it for the very first time. So this conversation was around a picture posted by a YouTube star and internet meme sensation, Kyla Nicole or Nicole TV. Now, if you do not know who that is, I doubt that I'll be able to accurately describe her to you let's just say she's most famous for a viral video she posted a long time ago on how to do a ponytail it was funny it was like the tiniest little ponytail ever so she just had a baby maybe two or three months ago i'm not too sure and she has been quite open about how she's transitioning into this motherhood thing so back to the picture or pictures so she's standing in front of a mirror wearing a sports bra i think and the top of her leggings have been pulled down all the way like towards her pubic bone so the obvious focus of the picture is her tummy so her tummy seems flat it's also visibly darker than the rest of her body and it's full of stretch marks one thing to note is that she is smiling so (laughs) i think it's only fair to assume that she's comfortable Anyway, the comments that I saw were kind of expected. So it's, it was everything ranging from, oh my God, that's disgusting. Don't share that. That didn't happen to me. Stop scaring others to that's amazing. You're beautiful. You know, just embrace this whole motherhood thing. And so I bring up this conversation because there are two things that stood out to me that kind of emphasize on the need to share information and showed different experiences so the first thing was there were women that were genuinely shocked that this is a side effect like an actual possible outcome after giving birth i don't blame them because i personally also learned something new every other day especially physically about my body so for example i had no idea that your feet also swell up right after giving birth i was used to the fact that yeah your your feet will swell up when you're pregnant mine didn't do too much of that maybe towards the last couple of weeks but after bath my god it was like a <laughs> like i had elephant feet and and i was a little bit worried um until i went to you know in, in hospital when they have this new mom classes it was one about you know how to bathe the baby so i was there with other moms and legit like the first thing I saw was everyone's feet and they were just as swollen as mine. So I was just like, oh, okay. So I guess this is an actual thing. So yeah, definitely there's so many things that crop up that you probably had no idea that it could happen. So I don't blame those that were genuinely shocked. And isn't it just a little bit crazy that there's still so much to learn about something that has literally happened since the dawn of time? Like why do we still discover something new, you know, as your body is just going through this immense change? So the other thing that stood out to me in this whole conversation is the amount of advice that was there on how to fix this or avoid this, which personally I find quite irritating and annoying. So let me explain. We have all probably had this quote-unquote remedies that one is given and some can really, really get intense. Like, you know, we've heard about belly tying. I've heard about skin scrubs, you know, to just undarken or lighten your skin. There's even guys who talk about sitting in hot water. I don't know. I have a very iffy feeling about advice like that because it's like once you give birth you should immediately get onto this series of trying to get your body back you know like as fast as you possibly can and i find it 
unrealistic because it puts undue pressure to a new mom who also has to somehow focus on this little new human being who's just come and it can get crazy the some that seem okay that makes sense and then the others is the same out of this world i think we'll talk about this whole thing of nuggets of advice that new moms are given afterwards because we can be here the entire day but in, what i'm thinking about is just like how about we just normalize the idea that we should also put some trust in our bodies to find their way back i know it's it's it could be hard to imagine that you could go back exactly to where you were and i think this is the power of like opening it up and and listening to different people's experiences because i've even seen moms who have somehow become a better version of themselves as compared to even what they were pre-pregnancy pre-motherhood the others who've just you know gone back to the way they are and there's someone the others who are embracing a new normal like legit the spectrum is really really big <laughs> or wide so let's I think it's really important to just normalize the idea that you don't have to race against time to just get into this ideal space. I think I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly. So yeah, those are the two things that really really came out and 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 also, you know, give me more energy and more psych to do or or, or rather to create a platform like this where, you know, we can just see more realness. And and I'll say this, like so this picture didn't shock me in any way that's because i looked exactly like that i mean minus the flat tummy i don't even think i had a flat tummy before the baby came so <laughs> minus the flat tummy i looked exactly like that uh in fact my stretch marks were so insane they were even ribbed right they were like i had a bumpy stomach my tummy was so dark like the darkest it's ever been alongside my neck so the neck thing i knew about but the stomach that that came as a shock to be honest also like the skin around my belly button was I'm so sorry if this is dmi but you know my platform my my voice <laughs> my choice but the skin around my belly button was so scaly like shoe leather had um but then this is also combined with some post birth complications that i had and that i will get to in a future episode so with all these changes like did i care yes i mean i'm normal i'm human i was a little taken aback by it it didn't look like me i wasn't able to recognize this person and so i didn't look at myself too much in the mirror but did i focus on it in a, at a greater extent probably not there was so much happening around me legit there's a there's a newborn um who dis- who requires not even deserves requires your attention 100% of the time so for me i i found out that it didn't matter too i mean, I mean it didn't matter too much what i did though and then this is also combined with the post birth complication that i had is that i did take pictures every other week of my stomach to just confirm that everything is receding and also you know try and remember <laughs> how life was without this huge belly that would knock over things right you know what i don't know when it happened but somehow everything just went back to normal like the stretch marks are faded i mean the stretch marks are still there unless you're really 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 looking at my tummy which i mean i don't understand why but <laughs> they're there i see them they exist another thing is that my skin went back to normal from the neck to the tummy and you have to realize like i had to at least learn that that darkening or hyperpigmentation is hormone controlled it only makes sense that once the hormones like come back down everything just goes back to the way it was like my tummy is okay it ain't flat or tight as it used to be um and then <laughs> there's also this feeling and i, I had it a lot that those early a few months where i felt like my organs were still trying to find out where they were i would feel like i had to hold my tummy <laughs> together you know i found things that make me feel comfortable so for example high waisted pants are my best friends like those things just cinch up everything um so to kind of conclude this conversation i admit it sometimes if you sit down and think about it motherhood can be scary i mean the physical changes alone are intense because everything happens in such a short time right this we're talking about a span of two years from pregnancy to postpartum i think we should be able to talk about how differently each of us reacts to this intense period um not even just physically like the mental strain alone is something that cannot be overlooked or pushed under the rug i there's just so much to uncover in this whole process so i think storytelling and sharing information is very very key like let's paint that real picture and normalize what goes on in there so so things like this 
don't look scary, the the more often than not they should just be normal. So you're just like, oh, okay, so that could happen. And and I think that's the point of this podcast. If we can bring up a lot of these stories so that we can learn from each other, we can normalize this entire process and, and, and it hopefully feels a little less overwhelming as it probably is. I can't believe that I have done episode one already. That was fun. <laughs> I definitely feel a lot more chill now. And I am so excited to do this again. I am looking forward to recording more of my story and hopefully other mom stories as well. So if you want to be part of this podcast, please let me know. You can do that currently either, you know, if you have my number, WhatsApp me. If you don't, there's also Instagram DMs. I'll, I'll find a better way of doing this. Uh, but that's that's what I have right now. <laughs> also, another thing that I am super pumped about is that I will be marking a full year of motherhood in a few weeks. Like, I don't understand how, where the time goes. And I think launching this podcast right now feels really, really great because it will give me a chance to look like to look back at this year and put it all on record. I think it will also be really, really great to just remember, you know, my journey. So I'll be posting new episodes every other Saturday, so fortnightly. Um, and I think that's a schedule that I can possibly keep up with. I've already lined up some amazing episodes that I cannot wait to share. So if you like this podcast, please feel free to share it. And like I said, if you want to take part, just hit me up in my DMs. I'll leave all my details in the description of this episode. Um, all right, that's it. Until next time, goodbye.